Hi, I'm Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about technical drawings in a PDF format on the Remarkable 2 versus the iPad Pro. I wanted to create a short video after communicating with AGA Engineering about using technical drawings on the Remarkable 2. However, having tried this, I found the experience really wasn't that good. So, I used the iPad Pro with Notability, where I found the experience to be much better. So I've created this video to do a comparison. I hope you find it of use. So here you can see, I'm starting off with a Remarkable 2. I'm gonna click on the file, open it, and see how long it takes to render. So already, you can see it's taken quite a while to render. Until it does, it's really an unusable document. Finally, it's rendered. However, from a practical perspective, it's far too small, so I'm going to need to zoom in. So I'm gonna click on the zoom button here. We've then got to re-render the document. At this point, I'm just getting really frustrated. I'm gonna try and zoom in again to 300% and very little's happening. So I'm gonna try and now zoom in again to 450% and it is a very frustrating process. So I'm gonna move away here from all the zooming in, zooming out, come on the pen and show that you can mark the document easily enough once it's all rendered. So I make a couple of marks here. If I could spell, I'd write C notes correctly the first time, but I can't. So I'm gonna try and write that correctly a second time. But again, you can see that you can cross out your own notes using the rubber at the back of this pen, although this is the optional extra marker. But then I'm trying to move around the document again and it's just the frustration of needing to re-render. I mean, this is taking forever. And from a practical perspective, if I was trying to move around a PDF like this, I wouldn't find it productive at all. So I'm gonna try zooming out here to see if the experience of zooming out is any better than zooming in. But as you can see, the rendering takes just as long. It is absolutely fine to write on. You can draw here, I'm gonna pull up the highlighter here. It's easy enough to highlight. So once you've got everything rendered correctly, it's easy enough to move around. But if you're looking to work on a PDF like this, and you're going to need to move around the document, then I really don't think that the Remarkable 2 is going to be the device for you. With that in mind, if we move over to the iPad Pro using Notability, and there might be better apps to do this, but Notability is my daily writing app, so I thought this would be the app to use. You can see here, it renders so much quicker. It's so much easier to touch the screen, move around with your fingers, you can pull up the pen, pull up different colors. So AGA Engineering talked about writing in red. You can use different colors, move around. It is so much more flexible to zoom in and out. And from a productivity point of view, I'd have the work I needed to do done in a fraction of the time it would take the Remarkable 2 to render. So I actually quite enjoy the experience on the iPad Pro. Similarly, as with the Remarkable 2, you can highlight as well as write on it. It's a very satisfying and enjoyable experience. So in terms of my answer of how does the Remarkable 2 do in terms of marking up and editing PDFs like this? The answer is not that well, and certainly I don't feel it compares very well to how good the iPad Pro is. I hope you found it useful, and thanks for watching. If you did, you might also find it interesting to see my writing comparison of the iPad Pro, the Remarkable 2, the Onyx Books Air, and Paper. But until next time, I've been Alex. Thanks for watching.